Hello there guys, it's Bubli Crown here, back in another video, and today we are going to do What If Deku Was Reborn, part 17. Hope you enjoy. In last part, Momo's parents know that Deku is a white ninja and they have his dinner with him. As Momo's father tells Deku to protect his daughter, then Deku and Todoroki go to the Endeavor Agency. Deku fights Tain in his white ninja form, completely breaking his ideology about fakes. Then Deku gave one of his powerful speeches to the camera to try at least move a little bit of heart of the fakes. And Deku almost killed the Endeavor. So let's continue after that. Everybody was in class except for Deku because plot. Then the guy surround Elan tell him, So did you fight with the white ninja against Stain? Or did you help him? He tell him, No, we arrived late, me and my brother. Then Kaminai tell him, Your brother, did he heal already? He tell him, Yeah, he did heal because the white ninja did heal him. Then they look at Doroki because they almost the same city. Then he asked him, so you and your father did nothing? Uh, Todoroki told him, no, we did nothing. But you know what? Something happened in, in, in my in the father uh, agency. A fight broke up between him and Deku. And the whole class go, what? Then Bakugo told him, is he okay? Todoroki told him, yes, I did stop Deku before he got hurt. Bakugo told him, I'm not talking about Deku, I'm talking about your father. You did stop the fight before they start, right? Todoroki not tell him, yeah. Bakugo told him, good. Because if you did, don't, don't stop him. I'm pretty sure your father will be in bad shape right now. Todoroki told him, I'm pretty sure exaggerate, exaggerating a bit. Are you saying that Midoriya is stronger than my father? Bakugo told him, I'm not saying he is stronger than your father. Ida told him, I'm pretty sure you're joking. Midoriya is still a high school student. Plus, we did see Deku fight. I know he's strong. But I'm pretty sure your father, if he gets serious, he can't take down Deku easily. Then Bakugo told him, did you think that Deku was going serious in the sport festival? Uh, the whole class even came out to him, yeah, he did. Bakugo told him, no. Yes, he was hold using his full power, but he was not taking us seriously. If he got serious from the beginning, he will complete the, all the sport festival in 10 seconds. Then Todoroki tell him, that's odd, Deku tell me the same thing after he got uh, his fight with uh, my father. Then, Bago tell him, now I'm going assure you, Deku is far stronger than your father. He's far stronger than any one of you can imagine. Then Todoroki tell him, so you did fight him seriously? Bago tell him, no. Yes, I don't know how to say it, but I did fight him seriously for like half a second. And trust me, that half a second felt like an hour against him. Then Deku show up and tell him, sorry I'm a little bit late guys. And the whole class was a little bit in shock to see Deku. Then Deku tell him, what's up, are you taken about me? Kamen tell him, no, not, uh, not really, boss. Then Deku tell him, okay. Then Aizawa show up and he tell them about uh, the finals. And they got to stay, get ready for them. And the same group that was uh, worried in the anime get worried in this what if. Except for Kamen Ari, because I'm, I'm pretty sure spending most of his time with the second smartest person in the class help him. Let's see, he's at least a top 10. Then the same group that asked Momo to help them, ask her. Then Deku tell him, can I join? Momo tell him, sure, why not? Then Deku looked at Bakugo Kaminari and tell them, both of you, don't forget that we have a practical exam next, after the theory one. So you better keep up, keep up your training. Because what did you do in the sports festival was a little bit embarrassing. Bakugo tell him, what do you mean? Deku tell them, after you two fight in semi-finals, I realized that your stamina dropped a lot. Even during our fight, each time you try to hit me or uh, do something, the slightest movement you do cost your stamina. So you better work up on the stamina issue. Then come and I tell him, come on man, you even realize that we are out of breath? Deku tell them, both of you are more powerful than I was at your level. I have something that you two don't have. 
experience a deep fight a lot against my master. And trust me, if you think my method of uh, teaching you is hard, my teacher method will be like hell for you guys. So be, be grateful at least. Both of them start laughing nervously. Then everybody got in their seat because Aizawa just to show up in the class again. Now let's say times came to the end of the day. Deku woke up to All Might and tell him, All Might, do you have a second? All Might tell him, yes, what is it? Deku tell him, can you, can I have a leave of absence for the next day, for tomorrow? All Might tell him, why? Something come up? Deku tell him, yeah, but it's a little bit personal. I have to do it on my, myself. All Might tell him, sure, just this once. Deku tell him, thank you, All Might. Then Deku speed up home. He tell his mom that he's going to try, like, and to stay at his friend's house. His mom tell him be careful. Then Deku walk up to the alley and open an, uh, a gate to the other world. Then Deku go straight to Drake cave and he ask him, Drake, can I ask you something? Drake tell him, oh, it's, the, it's you, Midoriya. What do you want? Deku ask him, do you have uh, more uh, dragon scale that you don't want? Drake tell him, you're in luck, kid. Look over there. Then Deku see a pile of dragon scale just standing there. Then Drake tell him, I just uh, changed my scale like a year ago. Then Drake tell him, what do you, are you going to do with them? Deku tell him, I will build some armors to my friends, that Bakugo and Kaminari. Drake tell him, okay, uh, then now you mention it. My scales that last time you did have them, what did you do with them? Deku tell him, yeah, your scales. Then Deku show him his uh, armor. And tell him, what do you think? Drake tell him, oh, it's really suit you. And I like the dragon in a symbol on your chest. Deku tell him, thank you, it's my master symbol. Then Drake tell him, a second ago, he said you are going to make. So you are a blacksmith. Deku tell him no. So I have to learn how to build armor, huh? Drake tell him. Sometimes I'm asking myself, are you an idiot? Deku tell him, yay. I just forgot. Okay, I have a lot of my mind. Drake tell him sure. Then Deku transfer the pile of uh, dragon skill to his storage. Then he think dragon tell him goodbye. Then he fly toward a nearby city and spend a little bit time there for people to get uh, like comfortable around him then he go to a nearest blacksmith and ask him can you can you teach me the blacksmith tell him i can but uh, you have to pay me they could pay up and he spent like three months learning how to basically craft weapons and armor after he finished his uh, training or learning he go to drake cave and space spent all his day trying to build armors to Bakugo and Kaminari. And doing their build up, Deku just got an idea. He started building up like something behind their back. Drake tell him, what is that? Deku tell him, the R's wings. I just enchant them with zero gravity. Each time they focus on using their wings, those, these two will open up and they are enchanted with zero gravity so they can fly. Drake tell him, good thinking, huh? Then Drake tell him, so, do you have a skill to like enchant uh, an inanimate object? Deku tell him, yeah, it's called fusion. I did unlock it last time I did the go to this world. And Deku start uh, building up uh, Kaminari and the Bakugo armors. And guys, a couple uh, of uh, parts back, I did say Deku bite a little bit of uh, magic stone. So Deku used them to power up the armors. And for Deku not mix, mixing up Bakugo and Kaminari's armor, he paint Bakugo's armor like red with yellow spot in it. And Kaminari yell, uh, completely yellow with white straps. And Deku spent six months building up their uh, armor, but after that he realized that they are not completely perfect. He still, uh, le still need to learn how to perfect them. But he didn't have any time left, he had to go back home. So he put the two armors in his storage and go back to his world and Deku arrived in the nick of time because it's early morning in his world he quickly put on his uh, school uniform and ran to school when he arrived Bakugo tell him why did you come back yesterday Deku tell him I was busy in the other world I have to do something Bakugo tell him can we help you with that Deku tell him no it's a secret Bakugo tell him okay if you need us we we'll always be there Deku tell him thank you then later that day, Momo invite everyone, everyone to go to their uh, house to uh, study. And Deku is there. Uh, Deku is there. And the moment they enter, Momo's parents see Deku and they welcome him again. The class were wondering why they, how they know Deku. Mo explained that they have uh, met him before. 
Then Ashido woke up to me and told her, How far did you go? Momo face turned red and Ashido can understand how far did they go. Then Momo told him, Enough about that, let's, go, let's begin study. Then they study for a little while. And before they know it, it's already dark. Momo tell everyone they can sleep in their home today. And tomorrow they go to their home. Everybody accept. Then they are sure where the guest room is. And Deku will go with Momo. The class start following them to Momo's room. Then when they are inside the room, uh, Ashido open up the door a little bit to can they can see. And she see that Deku and Momo just standing on the balcony. Everybody, everybody try to push each other to see or take a look. Then they accidentally push too much on the door. They open, uh, they open it and they fall down inside the room. Then they call to them, come on guys, really? Come on, I start laughing and telling me, yes, sorry about that boss. Then they will smile at them and uh, uh, tell them, you have five seconds to get out before I completely uh, roast you. Five, four, and they will start sharing his, uh, a little bit of electricity in his hand. And uh, like a uh, blink of the eye, everybody get out of the room. Momo start laughing and telling him, I don't know that you can threat other people. Then Momo, then they could tell him, I'm pretty sure you don't know um, uh, too much about me. Momo tell him, yeah, I think you're right. So can you tell me everything about you? Deku is a little bit reluctant to tell her everything, but he tell her about all his powers. And he can travel between worlds and he can use sort of, of magic. But he didn't tell her about the truth about quirks or about one for all. Then Momo asked Deku, why did you use all your powers? Deku tell her, I was quirkless, you remember? If I show up all my power, people are still asking too many questions. Momo tell him, ah, I guess you're right. Then the groups try to again to pick on Momo and Deku. Deku can hear them clearly and create like a sword of lightning directly just past the door. Then he tell them, I know I, you're there. So what should I do now? Roast you or not? You have two seconds to, uh, to consider. Then for real uh, this time, everybody go back to the guest room. Then Deku sleep with Momo that night and let's say guys time skip to the finals. All the tests stayed the same except for Kaminari because the moment uh, the principal starts throwing that uh, part of the building on them, Kaminari quickly carry Ashido and pour up to his Zeus clock and start jumping to building to building. Then he put Ashido far away from that crane. Then he tell her, give me a second. Then he quickly jumped toward the principal, get him off the crane and just handcuff him. And they win. Everybody, everybody was impressed by Kaminari's skills and power. And now let, uh, let's jump to Deku and Bakugo vs All Might. Deku knew that he can beat All Might easily. And because of that, he decided to take a step back from this fight and let Bakugo fight like not completely on his own, but he will help him a bit. Uh, both of them start walking in the street, then they hear that All Might throwing his punch. Both of them jump out of the way, then All Might show up. Deku decided to only support Bakugo, so he just fired a little bit of electricity around All Might to make him move. And Bakugo the one who doing all the fight. After a while, Bakugo decided to use his uh, gauntlet. He used it and the force of impact was more than enough to send All Might flying backwards. Then Deku tell him, what now? Should we run or should we fight? Bakugo tell him, we'll fight. Then both of them start turning toward All Might. And All Might do the same. All Might throw a punch and Deku counter it. And shock uh, create vortex that almost blow Bakugo away. Then Bakugo starts uh, using his most uh, biggest explosion that he can master without hurting his body. And plus with one for all, so they are pretty damn powerful. Deku is only supporting Bakugo, he uses electricity to blind All Might for a second like Kaminari do to him. Bakugo takes the opportunity, he blasts All Might with his full power toward the ground. Then he handcuffs him. And they won. All Might tell them, good job you two. They could tell them, thank you All Might. Then after the exam, everybody get a day to rest. And now let's say time skip to the next day. As I was show up and he gave them their uh, result. And the result said same, except for Kamenali, he did pass. Then he tell the class, you have two days off before the summer training camp. So you can do whatever you want. So the, they decide to go shop and they decide on a time. And when everybody start uh, Picking while they're going to shop, Deku can feel something is uh, like not something is off. 
like he is in danger he start looking left and right the either tell him what's up you are a little bit worried they could tell him it's nothing but i can feel like something is going to happen or i don't know what is it and it's shigaraki come but he know deku is on guard so he did approach him after a while he didn't find any weakness or uh, some to let him approach deku so he decided to leave so everybody continued the shopping normally then everyone started getting ready then minato tell them why don't we go to the pool i'm pretty sure our school will uh, let us use it the class agreed and they, all of them asked uh, aizawa and this time not for training they just want to mess around so after everybody started getting ready the boys were the first to uh, finish uh, changing first so they go to the pool after a while the girls show up and minata starts staring at them then they come from behind him put his hand on his shoulder and tell him like what you see and they could start powering up uh, uh, electricity on his other hand minata is literally afraid from they could tell him no sir no sorry sir they could tell him good so get moving Minata tell him yes sir Baku and Kaminari start laughing because they know why Deku do that Oraka approached him tell him what's up why did you uh, why Deku attack uh, Minata or threaten him Kaminari tell him I think it's because he don't want Minata to stare at his princess Momo face turned red and all the girls start staring at her then the girls start looking at Deku Deku hear them before they turn and look the other way then they then they spend the, the, the rest of the day just uh, fooling around and the girls start getting jealous from uh, Momo and Bakugo and Oraka gets a little bit closer so after that everybody go home when, um, when before Deku arrive All Might come to him to him oh, young Midoriya are you busy? Deku tell him All Might uh, what do you want? Deku tell him I just wonder if you want to come with me to I I I island Deku tell him I love to but you only have one day left before uh, summer training camp All Might whisper to him don't worry the day was uh, pushed back a little bit you, you, you have two days off not one then Deku tell him if that's the case I would love to All Might tell him good get your stuff ready we are going to leave right now Deku tell him right now All Might tell him yep and guys that's it for this part hope you enjoy it if you're new around here consider to subscribe and if you like it, drop a like and tell me what you think of it in the comment section. And peace.